Hi guys, this is Ryan. I'm going to be doing a review of the Komatsu HM400 made by DCP in 150th scale. Uh, this is just a really nice model. Um, love it a lot. But uh, before we do get started, I just want to say that uh, sorry I haven't been making a video videos for the last week or so. Those of you who are friends with me at Facebook saw that I was uh, going off to camp for a week. But I'm back now. I'm going to be back into some videos. It's a rainy day today. Hopefully going to pound out a couple of reviews. Uh, I've been falling behind on a couple of those. So uh, just let me know. Um, also, I'm trying a different type of review. I know I usually do it right on my laptop. But uh, I decided to try this. And I also tried the pictures. So... Uh, just let me know what's your favorite, and for different ones, I'll do, I'll uh, try different things. So just let me know. So bring the light in, and let's get started. Starting off with the front end, got your Komatsu logo right there. Front bumper. Uh, the the grill isn't etched all the way through, but it's got tech, uh, some good texture to it. Also, a cool thing is uh, it's got those tow hooks right there. Which, uh, if you guys saw my stop motion from uh, when I first opened up my channel, I used those towing, pulling out the uh, dump truck. Uh, headlights. You can tell that uh, they're not just flat. They're actually got a little depth to them, make them look pretty, actually pretty real. So then, right here, this is a mirror that you'd use to look up. It's uh, usually uh, concave. And that's so that you can look up and see if you're going to clear under, you know, any place that you're going to be going where it's going to be tight. So then, um, these basically just like handrails, some more handrails going up here, steps. These are uh, plastic. That's metal though. Wow, which is a nice detail. Also, you can see there are, you've got engine vents right here. And uh, the hood does open. It doesn't open very much, but still enough to show good detail in there. I'll just bring the light in. So you guys can really see that uh, they put their time into it. It just looks nice. So moving on. The mirrors, as you can tell, are uh, actual mirrors. Which is just a great detail, I think, that they put in. And here's the the cab. It's a really big cab which is nice. You can see it's got two seats. That'd be for say uh, the operator is being evaluated or it was a training exercise um, that the the, uh, the official or the uh, higher, higher up guy would be riding with the operator. There's a windshield wiper. You got two lights up there. Those aren't in depth like uh, the headlights are, but they are, they're just flat, but it's just a nice detail that they put in. So steps on this side, there's your air cleaner, mirror, and everything. Here you've got your smokestack and a uh, guard on it, which is nice, and a uh, warning label. In the back, right there, is a uh, cab guard. You can't see it, but that's actually there's actually a fine mesh in there. So, that's just a nice detail. So I'll put the uh, bed up just so I, you guys can see the detail in here. You got these hoses, which are nice soft hoses, which is just a nice detail. And then you've got that uh, holder for them to go onto. You can just see the detail that's gone into under here. There's a, a dirt guard, keep dirt from falling down over onto all the hydraulics and everything. So. Also, here are your mud flaps. Oh, not mud flaps. Trick of the eye. Looks like mud flaps through the camera. So, here are the mud flaps. These mud flaps right here are rubber, as you can tell, which is just nice, which is a uh, nice detail. Also, articulates really far to both ways. Which is really nice. And it's also on a pivot, so you can see here. 
Not that you'd ever have it that pivot, pivoted that far, but that's it can. It's got the uh, capabilities. So, also one thing, my one complaint about this model is it sags a little bit, but you know that's not a big deal. So, just gonna show you guys how far up the uh, boom goes. I mean the uh, rear goes, which is actually pretty far. It's got a three-stage cylinder. You can see there's one, there's another. So there, and then it just all slides together. Then uh, back here, you've got working suspension. Let me just show you a shot of that, and then there. Then there's your uh, underside detail, which is just incredible. So there's the bed. Just once again, it goes up really high. And uh, if you guys are considering an ADT. Uh, there's your rear end, just another shot of the suspension. If you guys are considering an ADT and you're thinking about the Deer 450, I mean 400, but don't. Um, I've got a friend that I've used to see in his 450s and they're the same price as this model. And this is just so much better than the 450, so just forget it. So... Show you the underside. It's all casted detail under here. Really nice. Also, the paint is uh, in a nice flat color. The tires are a little shiny, but they've got a good tread on them and nice and thick and realistic. And just like them a lot. It's a great model. Uh, so, like I do in all my reviews, I show that it fits on a 150 scale trailer. So let me grab the trailer. Here. Try not to drop it. So this is the uh, 150 scale Talbert trailer from First Gear. It does have the side planks on it, and uh, as you can tell, it does fit on. It's a big fit. Uh, here in Maine, it could be done uh, because our weight restrictions aren't as bad, but in other states. Uh, you'd need a bigger trailer uh, with more axles to spread out the weight more. But it does fit and it fits good. Looks nice. Big load. But uh, so that's going to be the review of the Komatsu HM400 made by DCP and 150th scale. Great model. Usually runs for anywhere between $30 to $40. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and you all have a good one.